Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 12 of Haven Cave Block. Uh, today, if you see that in my hand, we get us a Philosopher's Stone, and it's all thanks to the metal that's right behind me. So let's jump into this episode and see how it's done. All right, let's get into this real quick. Um, I've been feeding this uh, with blocks of charcoal made out of essence that we've been getting over there. Uh, I've been building it up, getting a nice mana pool going here, getting this up. You know, just just spending time getting this prepped for for this episode here. Uh, while we were working on that, I was working on getting the mana. And uh, I want to make some of these rooms. But before we do, there's... I need brown mushrooms. To get brown mushrooms, I... Uh, I'm going to have to do complete a quest on screen here. So that, that's that's why I have these two witch waters already prepped. Uh, I put this in here. We get the brown mushroom block, okay? Which gives us the task complete for brown mushroom block of this particular quest. Well, now we need the red mushroom block. To do that, you take the brown mushroom block here, which I... There's no mushroom recipe for that, but you put it in there and we get a red mushroom block. I'm not sure if we break this and we would get mushrooms from it, but uh, making both of those, we get brown mushrooms as a reward. I'm just going to take one of these uh, and let the rest set over here in the main storage where we're not going to spend any time today. Well, we will if uh, we get done this quickly enough. Uh, so to make the runes that we need here... Um, You will see here, uh, we need a rune of mana, rune of air, rune of fire, rune of earth, and a rune of water. Okay, so we're going to have to make each of these runes. Uh, but first, we're going to need a runic altar. To do this. So to do that, it's just an upside down boat of living rock over top of a mana diamond or a mana pearl. Your choice. I use mana pearls because mana pearls are pretty much used very little for anything else that I, I found that I, I need a lot of it. But we've got us a runic altar now, which unlocks more into our lexicon Batania. And I'm going to set this runic altar here. Now, one of the ways I'm going to transport the mana is using sparks. Sparks use any petals and uh, two blazes each. As you can see here, I have enough mana, or enough of these for three. So we're going to use some green because, well, why not? We have a lot of green. Set the green like this, the blaze is like this, and we get three sparks. Now, the reason why I want three is the first one is going to go into this mana pool. You right click it onto the mana pool, place it right. You know you can do this to a ruiny altar. Oh, is it only the elven altar that can get the spark? Okay. Okay, so we have to do one more thing. 
we'll take our living wood that we have left. I mean, we have uh, eight more over there. Uh, grab a piece of gold. I know I said I wouldn't come over there, but thought I had everything I need. And we'll take, uh, I don't know, blue. Blue, we have a lot of blue. Okay, so take some blue here and make a mana spreader. You can hear that that's stopped, which is fine. We'll set the mana spreader like this. We'll make sure that the mana or the runic altar is what's getting hit by that mana spreader. All right, so now we need what five living rock uh, for the that we're going to be making here. And we'll start off with the Rune of Mana, which is one, two, three, four, five mana seal. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing is I'm right clicking to separate to separate these in half. Just makes it a little bit easier to get The one we need. All right, so there we go. We got the rune for the suffer the rune of mana. So we're gonna set one, two, three, four, five of these a mana pearl. Replenish these guys here so that they are running. And uh, once this is done here, you'll see lightning coming off of it. So that's when you know you can take the living rock right click it and shift right click and we get the room of man so we're in a bear pretty much the same thing uh did you bear there is just making sure i have all this stuff Ooh, might actually run low on mana steel. Okay, that, that, that. Uh, if you misplace something, you can right click it with an empty hand. And I need to make a carpet. Simple carpet recipe. this away. See, it really doesn't take that long with a good full mana pool like we have here. Alright. We're going to fire us next. Which is just dust. Another wart. I think it needed one of these as well, so let's place what we know for sure it needs. Yeah, there we go. See, it gets very close. Uh, Rune of Earth, that's what that mushroom was for. What else do we need? Uh, a coal block and a stone. We have stone in here and a coal block. Oh, we also forgot the one mana dust and get all of these require that. See how quickly this goes, that runic spread or being that close to it. It's one reason why I put that so close to the pool. Okay, water is fishing rod, sugar cane, and bone meal. 
again, one of these, one of these. See that it gets done relatively quickly. There we go. We've got the water. Now that we've got all of those done, we want a terra, terra still uh, uh, thing here, which will will need the lapis lazuli and living rock, as well as nine of these guys. Uh, the nine of these is to make a block of mana silk that will go right there in the center. The three up top here. And what's the rest of this recipe? And there we go. We got the Terra Seal Algamation Plank. Now, to set this up, I'm going to use. this corner for right now uh, because this is only going to be temporary that we're going to need this once we get four terrestrial ingots uh, I want to make a terrestrial seed right. and that can get one of the sparks that we have made. Okay, we can set that on there. See, it's nice and flashing there. If uh, we hit it with the one of the forest, you can see that rainbow line going to the other spark saying, oh, I will get mana from here or I will send mana to that. Uh, to make Terra still, we're going to need, uh, I want to have four Terra still, so four of those, four mana pearls, and four uh, mana steel ingots. We can't set all four down at the same time, and we've got to be very careful on how we do this. Uh, we want to toss them, and we want to make sure that they land perfectly on that. So, you see that that mana uh, diamond was not perfect on there. But we were able to do that. Now you see the manas going through the ether there. I love the particle effects. You can see the particles looping around this, giving us green. I meant to look at this before we started. It, but you see how quickly that's draining that man pool. We've got our first Terra Steel ingot. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's a quest for Terra Steel, what it does it give you? A random reward, okay. Okay, that, that just gives you a random reward. Um, and if you notice here, I have tablets already made up. Uh, because I knew that Having enough mana in this pool at one time was going to be hard. Uh, if you see there, when you look at the mana pool, you'll see the tablet to the pool or the pool to the tablet. The arrow points to which gets filled up from what. So I want the pool to get bit filled by the tablet. So we toss the tablet right in there. It will pull the mana off of the tablet as we are about to make our second one. It said you 
got to be very careful of the location. Make this a little bit easier. That's the reason why I had some living wood setting over here. To make this a little bit easier, I want to come over here, grab a hopper. Um, I'll show you this, okay? So there's a thing called an open grate. Uh, in Botania. It's living wood planks, so two sets of these will make the living wood planks. And we get the li uh, open crate. We can take the open crate uh, along the sides of a hopper. And I'll, I'll show you here real quick what we do with that. Let me just put that away. Uh, we look at the top of the terrasol agglomeration plate. We right click there and you see the open crates covering that. Uh, don't worry, the spark can still get through as you can see there. And we can set this on top of this. Now, we can put the objects in here and they will drop straight down onto the plate perfectly. Uh, it's a great way of making those plates perfectly and easily. Um, that way it's like we get our terra steel ingot there. We can set up the next one as a line like so. Let's see here. And yeah, we watch this mana pool quickly drain out of there. Okay. This is the last one in there. Got us three of those ingots so far. Well, uh, the more full this mana pool is, quicker it sends the mana over. And if you want, you can have multiple mana pools set up uh, with multiple sparks uh, to, to make it faster. But I don't see us having a need for that. There we go, three tablets, mana. We've got us the Terra Steel ingots here. Um, so, you know, I put these away. As soon as I put these away, I have to pull them out again. I really need to get a more permanent place for these guys. All right, prosperity seeds. Uh, four supremium essences. Gonna need more supremium. Get, give me one second to make the supremium essences. I'll show you guys how I've been doing that. as we just wait until this gets done. Okay, those are turning into premium, uh, into the seed. Nice. 
sure still see it. Uh, and we have a premium block there. Now, I have been using the block way of doing this uh, since, like, we've gotten the master infusion crystal. One, it makes it easier, quicker, less of a headache. Just trying to first turn the Inferium into uh, Inferium blocks. Because uh, with the amount of Inferium we have uh, being created, like we, we're, we've got plenty of uh, Inferium that can be turned into blocks. So we take all the Inferium that we have here. Set it up like so. With the Master Infusion in the center, we get the 64 Prudentium blocks. 16 Tetrium blocks. The four Imperium blocks, which will give us the one Supremium block. That can be turned down to regular Supremium essences. Uh, we do need one of these to make a farmland for our seed. We'll come over here. Trying to find one of these that don't have anything in it. I really need to upgrade this. Let's let's uh, take that one and upgrade it. So couple diamonds, couple diamond blocks, ender pearl, ender pearl, uh, an ender pearl. I really need to find a way to take care of uh, the excess armor and stuff that we get from that. All right, we've got that. We really want a lot of uh, te Terracil super quick, so place that in there like so. Come back over here, grab a hopper, or a uh, little bit of bone meal. Couple stacks. We will do that. We have 12 of these guys. So we'll take just take this and set it into this spot right here. Now, twelve of these, well, eight of these will give us two terraces. So we just need it to produce, there we go, a little bit more. We got us the four terraces still that we've been needing. Now, the next thing that uh, I wanted to make, let's get this off of here. I don't need any of that still on there. Is an unawakened altar. That's one reason why I had this cleared, is uh, I was going to make the awakened altar. And we're going to have an awakened altar here for, well, 
lots of fun. That's what we've been rushing off to. Why uh, I, I've been pushing so super fast for this is uh, I want to hop into a late game mod early on into this playthrough. Uh, and to do that, uh, I need the Awakened Altar done up. So we are going to need uh, some orange dye. Let's see here. One. So five of these. We'll just, we'll get six. Why not? Okay. Uh, six glass. Do we have glass in here? Glass? There we go. No, we just need four glass. Um, and the orange dye. Did I leave that over in the other room? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, and Mr. Cluckers died uh, to me fighting the wither. I know I saying that so non shot non non caring, but you now Mr. Cluckers served a very fine purpose. Did I did I put the pouch somewhere? And not remember putting it down somewhere. There we go. I yeah, I put it down in here. That's right. Okay. So I need a total of four petals. Okay, those turn into orange dye, orange dye, white wools. Uh, I need one more orange petal, I just realized this. So one more orange. Okay. Get the orange dye, we get this. And we get some uh, gold. We'll take a stack of it. We need one awakened altar. We need four of these awakened pedestals. Okay. And we need four of these essence vessels. Okay, to use this, we set this down, and you see that uh, these have certain spots that they must go. So the essence vessels must go in these four spots, whereas the awakened pedestals must go into these four spots. Um... We're going to take one of these Supremium blocks here, or Cognizant Dust, and uh, I told you I was going to make the Earth, Air, Fire, and Water Essences uh, between episodes, and the reason why is I want a stack of... Uh, each of them. Let's put away some stuff here, some seeds, I guess. 
Okay. And each of these essence vessels, you can right click and it places essence up to 40 into each of these. All right, so we'll place the, the Supremium block there. We'll place four Cognizance dust. We're gonna have to do this again to get more uh, awaken supremium. Uh, but that that'll be between episodes is something that I will have to do to just have prep ready for you guys. So let's go over here to uh, at project E and the first thing we're going to need is this Philosopher Stone. Philosopher Stones are super easy to make for Terra Steel ingots, for Insanium Essence, and a gem of Awakened Supremium, which is just a Prosperity Gem, which I've already shown you how to make a prosperity gem it's just a diamond prosperity gemstone and just two of the awakened now the insanium essence is uh also again easy it's the premium essence master stone we're going to need a total of four of these. So let's see here. Do we have... I thought I had enough Supremium for this. Uh, give, me, give me three minutes, folks, and I will be right back. All right, guys, uh, I'm back. About finished up making the essences. Uh, I, I bone milled my way to having the four of them. <sighs> Let that build up a little bit. Um, so we placed the awaken there. Place the insanium there. And now we've got the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, so we're we're starting down the lane of project project E. Let's see here. Compact machine frames, Alvin Gateway cores, compact machine frames. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's going to be next episode. We're going to get to the transmutation table, but we have got this now. And, um, yeah. It, it, it's our first step into having um, Oh, pretty much having everything. So we'll work on getting the transmutation tablet next episode. So if you liked this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike button. Uh, tell me why you did so down in the comments. Really helps uh, out, helps me learn a little bit more. Also, if you let, uh, if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to reach that 500 goal. So I'd like to thank you guys for being here. And until next time. Later, Gators.